Ladies and gentlemen, I just hit the record button. We're going straight into Group C. First match, Surreal versus Susan Poof uh, on Backwater. We're only going to get, as you can look up, up there, two two matches for the um, for Group C. We had one person who had to unfortunately leave uh, the competition and one double walkover. So we get to watch Susan Poof, Surreal, and The Wagon, the only two people. Only, th only two of these three can continue on into the round of eight. So let's hope for some really fantastic games here as we get into the very first map backwater and now I'm not sure if this is the way I want to keep doing it but I've, I've been enjoying kind of looking around this map to start with um, taking the main straight south to a third and kind of a uh, so to the natural and then a closed off third uh, kind of a really safe third but you know maybe vulnerable to some drops or some air with all this dead space down here um, of course the optional third over here that's, I think it's the one I take more often than not, just because it's farther away from the enemy. Um, but that being said, Siegfried, take it away. All right. So we have our rookie player here up in the top left in the green, playing Zerga to Surreal. I did not know he had a he was our rookie player. He is uh he's new to the clan, so I'm just gonna call him a rookie. Yeah, fair enough. Um, in the bottom right, the one, the only community manager. Runner of the All Invitational, it is Shazam Poof. Community officer? Are you the community manager? I mean, you're the community I'm, guy. I'm the community manager. The yeah. manager, excuse me, uh, manager yeah. officer. Um, yeah, I, I didn't want to like. Don't, don't like, correct me. Yeah. Ah! yeah I'm, like, I'm the community manager. <laughs> you are. You are the community manager, and um, by by uh, default, my boss in All In. Yeah. Well, I like to think we all just work together. We don't have. The relay any boss i mean i guess i can't technically kick you from the discord but like, that doesn't really do anything <laughs> um <laughs> my boss is so humble yeah i mean we all get paid the same which is stopping <laughs> i got 10 cheers from shazam proof today you speak for yourself <laughs> <laughs> um i think that's uh equivalent to 10 cents it's super exciting yeah. um uh, not you know, I, t I tell everybody not really the principle of like income or money coming in, but it's nice. It's a nice gesture, yeah. and it feels really good. So um, this is, uh, if you haven't noticed yet, it is a ZVZ. We do we're gonna watch really closely on who's making speed, who's making links, who's making workers, and we we take a look at Shazam six six links coming out. Uh, and if we take a look at all the timings, these are just. The first six links. These are maybe the defensive links, the scouting links, um, production tab. Watch real closely. We're gonna get a baneling nest. Yeah, more drones. So look, nothing aggressive, nothing hyper quite yet. Uh, and he's gonna take out these two scouting links. So um, I'm actually pretty interested to watch this because uh, I've since I've been trying to observe, like ZVZ has been the matchup I've been having the hardest time with. I just like don't understand the timings or like when I should be doing what. I so, just am building all the wrong things, so I'm going to learn from the master himself, Shazam Poof, and see how to play ZVZ. Literal master. Yeah. Um, what, what I, my advice is, and it's wrong, um, make Roach Ravenger and GG when you see a lane flood. <laughs> um, it got me to Diamond. I'll take it. I wouldn't say GG. I, 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 GG's maybe not what I'm doing. Don't let me, don't yeah. me fool you there. I'm just like... Good queens, though. I love the it's, I love the queens. Yeah, I always I always have a hard uh, time deciding whether or not queens are like good to make a lot of in ZVZ. They seem okay, but like I think they're definitely like super good in like um, Terran versus Zerg. Committing to a heavy wall here uh, and then a Roach Warren, I, I like it. I do one thing I've noticed a lot of is in response to pressure and then counter pressure. The original pressurer puts down this spine crawler to kind of stop a failed, to stop, you know, give him some time. Uh, the queens are nice for for being a permanent and useful thing. Um, yeah. uh, oh, surreal! Barely getting this wall off before this attack happens. A couple of mainlines are gonna smash into this wall, though. Uh, we'll see how good he is on these transfuses uh, as a queen goes down and the lings are now able to get this around. Uh, and they're going to have free reign over here in his uh, opponent's natural. Actually, on, on natural in the main, even a couple lings over here, keeping the queens occupied uh, as they, they dare not respond. In the production tab, even though he's got 
the the money for roaches you see surreal actually committing again to lings um a couple links down here actually going for this roach war and roaches change this game a little bit especially if they can find a nice pocket in a nice corner uh and lings continue to float over here for shazampu so there's your answer lots of lings and a couple mains and yeah, this is uh, pretty unfortunate for surreal but it looks like this is the way zbz goes not getting any of those not getting any of those workers uh, oh there we go going back in for seconds getting all those workers this time and there's the gg from surreal and game number one goes to shazam poof you should bully this new kid should what shazam just bullying the new kid <laughs> no bm though fair games um <laughs> So Sam's, uh, you know, he put a lot of work in when he first made it the Masters. We were having this conversation earlier, um, but he hasn't been playing the games he wanted to. Mm -hmm. So this year, his New Year's resolution was 20 games a week, and I've been keeping track of that with him. And he's he's been on it. He's trying to get those chops back up. And... Oh, nice. So, Great. Going, Great yeah, to absolutely. Let's do it. Next one is uh, Neon Violet Square. Now, this is the one. We haven't seen this one today, have we? I, don't no, I think this is the first uh, time we've seen it so far. Yeah, all those little squares in the middle, I, I would have remembered them. Um, I do I do like this map. I love the obstacles in the middle. They add a little bit of, I guess, pizzazz to the map without potentially ruining it for everybody else, right? So without making the mistakes by putting golds in the naturals or... Um, or making the bases too, making the map too short, because they, they like that. They like to, to sh suddenly throw us a short map um, where aggression wins. But you know, just nice little cubes right here. They they change the game. They they make lings a little less effective in trying to get their surrounds. They they really peak up their siege, uh, help those siege uh, units. But they're also slow moving to get out of. You can get around them. It, it just makes for, I guess, interesting gameplay from our perspective. Um, but Taking a quick look at this map before we introduce our players once more. Uh, there is a lot of options here. The natural is in the uh, nice location down this ramp. You have a, a, a medium-sized ramp into what is usually the, the fourth or the fifth. Some destructible rocks here uh, between you and your third. And then you have this nice tucked away potential third that's a lot safer, but it, it mines half the number of minerals. So a really fun base here. Not, not even just talking about these nice... Uh, pink cube structures in the middle. Just a lot of fun to be had overall. So before I continue ranting throughout the entire match, why don't you take it away? All right. So I guess I'll introduce our player here in the bottom left. Or bottom right, sorry. <laughs> it is uh, Surreal, who's going for in the early pool. All right, to the action here. Uh, his opponent on the, on the top left has to respond to the aggression. It is Shazam Poof. Oh, pretty unfortunate for Surreal. These links will get scattered pretty much immediately. I really would have, would have liked to see him uh, try to kind of get out of this uh, vision path that he sure. thinks the overlords will go in. But, of course, it's always hard to predict. And, you know, this is a, a long map, too, so I added a couple seconds to the response time here for Shazam Poof. Yeah, uh, Shazam's pool will just finish in a couple seconds, but... By the time it's finished, these lanes will be on this uh, hatchery. And meanwhile, Surreal's getting his own hatchery of his, uh, back at home. And it's always nice. Get a little bit of aggression, and then behind it, you begin to macro, and you take away your opponent's... You kind of put your opponent on the back foot. Um, he's going to have to pull... Oh, yeah, pull some links over here to at least buy some... Excuse me, some drones to buy some time. Um, that was actually a fair amount of... There you go. A couple of links of his own. Actually successfully pulling those back, kind of gather them up. Uh, looks like he might lose this. Depends on how yeah. he responds to pressure. Okay, nice, nice job of Surreal to stick on that hatchery and make sure he gets it. Yeah. Um, now he's done all he needs to do for now. Uh, back at home, as you can see, he is getting up that uh, hatchery of his own. Yep. So he's going to be behind, in, or he's even on drones right now. But uh, you know, if he just keeps making drones, he'll be fine. The play from here, from Shazampu, seems to be uh, a handful more lings. Uh, he may have just... This is one of those things about pressuring somebody is they may just go all in on you. Mm -hmm. You see that's that uh, defensive spine crawler we talked about last time is being put down now for Surreal. 
Yeah, and Surreal went gasless with this too, so he's not going to have Zergling's speed for quite some time, if ever. Sure. Um, and it's going to kick in very shortly after Shazam Poop gets to the other side. Yeah, so I think Shazam Poop definitely can make something happen here, even though the unit counts might be somewhat similar. Having speed is just such a big advantage uh, in Zergling fights. Absolutely. First hits, surrounds, I mean, you name it. And as soon as you start losing one or two lings in the overall army count, it, it's going to spiral. It looks like we're going to get some Baneling connections here, so you add on to that. Yeah. Um, Good one thing that out. is working for Surreal here, though, is he does have a spine crawler and he has three queens. That's a, that's pretty good uh for defending this you can use those to snipe down those bane lanes uh they tank a lot but we'll have to see what these bane lane connects give us here and uh will shazam poof keep making dro uh, drones or will he send more zerglings across the map i do like that little bit of wall you starting there we do have uh lol futura uh rooting for surreal in the chat uh unfortunately it takes two bane lanes to take out a, a drone that was a good one bane lane connection um, yeah, a lot of weak drums there, but no follow-up, and those drums, they're going to live. But we have another follow-up, 14, 16 links from Shazam. Yes. So it looks like he's going to keep on this pressure, and if uh, Surreal Ooh. just decides, oh, okay, yeah, well, he failed, he, he's not going to attack again. And uh, it looks like that's what he thinks. He is droning. He is droning, and this is usually, I like, to, you see that back-and-forth counter pressure before one player decides he's safe, and it looks like if Surreal plants this hatchery before... Um, before he knows what's coming, he continues to drone up. Uh, he can find himself in a very difficult position soon. I don't think I mean, he should be spotted. That we do have good overlord here for surreal right in the front, um, but only four lings uh, on the way. Or just finishing up. More queens though. I like queens. Yeah, but we don't have a whole lot of units out right now. So these queens, like, th yeah, yeah, they're good, but um, you know. I it's going to be the, tough for them to get the damage done. That's the, the damage he needs there with those Baneling connections. Gorgeous connections there. Um, just kind of putting Surreal on on the back burner. Back foot? Back foot. Um, I think both both terms are used, right? That's a, <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> we could say yeah. either. Uh, interesting choice for a Roach Warren there. Uh, opting for a Roach Warren. Maybe, maybe a lack of Larva for Lings at the moment and wanting to spend, the, spend those minerals. Uh, a little bit of a drone transfer, or excuse me, a little bit of a... And actually, continuing the drone up behind this. Like, the pressure is continuing, and he's feeling pretty safe. And, you know, I don't blame him. There are four queens here. There are two spines. He has... He's going to have the capacity for roaches soon. Um, this pressure, continued pressure from Shazam is... It might not pay off. Yeah, and we see Surreal is back up in the drone count. So, um, you know, if he can stay alive for now and get out some roaches, he's going to be in a great spot. Now, Sam is no stranger to, to uh, you know, late game, so this might be in his advantage either. Oh, wow, actually, great run, run there. Uh, great run by there. He's going to get in here and start to get a handful of um, handful of workers. This, this is working out really well for him. These queens are not that mobile, even though they are great at uh, killing Zerglins. They need to move to where the Zerglins are, and with that speed, Shazam can just run all over the place, and he's going to continue to find damage. Yes, he's, he's sitting over here. In the uh, in the natural, there are five queens up in the main. They're just now responding to this. Uh, actually, a whole bunch of uh, lings on hold command there. Miss an opportunity for a handful of drones. Did some bane lings explode somewhere? I thought I heard a noise. Mm. I, I didn't see them. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> the worker count remains about the same, but he does. Surreal does have three bases worth of larvae uh, he can call from. And it looks like he's uh, going into his own Roach War and starting to tech up. He's about to actually finish plus one Carapace. So this might change the fight. If we continue to see kind of this um, quality play. Uh, Lings are oh, oh, going sorry. to run by. Yeah, you're fine. Unless we both paused. Um, get the run by here. Do the whole position and start his attacks. Uh, getting us around on that queen. Getting so many workers... Uh, down, he's down to 21 again, and they're going to run by. These these six queens are dangerous, but you just don't have to be there. Um, hold position there for a moment before deciding um, to run around and get a spine crawl. <laughs> yeah, so, this is super annoying for Surreal. <laughs> so talk me through that hold position maneuver he pulled off. What was that? Uh, I'm not sure. I think he's tr he's doing it so that uh, the circle don't automatically go towards the spine crawlers. But like... 
Uh, it's hard to do if the drones aren't mining. <laughs> like, normally you just put them in the mineral line so that when the drones are mining, they run by the links, and it's like a meat grinder. Mm. But, like, uh, it doesn't work if the drones are moving somewhere because they only go through once. So talk about this AI. When, when, a, when a Ling... Nice. I love the mobility here. Um, roaches are on the map now, uh, but it does look like Shazam has decided to opt for the stable third base behind this main, uh, running around with these lings, getting massive damage done to drones, just kind of keeping this an even fight, an honest fight for as long as possible. Uh, 29 workers of 39 tells that story for us. Yeah, Shazam's even getting the roaches of his own now, so, um, you know, he's uh, going to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Surreal in the roach game. But he has a higher worker count. A higher worker count, but a base that is on a uh, much faster expiration. Uh, yeah, that's definitely true. Uh, up, up the gas one is out about the same pretty time. much the same, right? Yeah. Yeah, I believe the gas one. Well, it's hard to tell. Uh, 220. Yeah, yeah, the gas is the same. It's just half the minerals. Hmm. Taking a quick uh, look at everything we got. Uh, Surreal is opting for Burrow. He's putting more roaches and roach speed on it. Um, production for uh, Shazam looks to be similar. More roaches. There's plus one, uh, plus one range, and roach speed coming down. Uh, taking a look at, kind of getting a count of, the workers are about the same. The armies are about the same. We're really actually pushing into, into the mid game soon. We might see a transition to tech. Uh, we might see just a full-on roach roach battle. Uh, yeah, Surreal's been super great holding on for this game. He has, really has. Like, I think a lesser player would have definitely been just so confused by all that constant aggression, so flustered by it that they would have messed some things up. But Surreal's just bouncing back every time. He's going to see everything that Shazam has to show. Um, but, you know, I imagine he suspected roaches this time. We do have a move out here. As uh, Shazam continues to stay on the uh, on the warpath, yeah, Shazam really does not like to beat the defender here. He really likes to push to push himself. I can get that. I can I can respect respect that. But he is gonna. This is gonna be a roach fight. This is gonna be Ravager connections and who's got the better concave. Um, ooh. I like it, opting to, to grab more supply, forcing out another 100 minerals out of Surreal. He's actually supply blocked right now in a very critical moment. Um, but Shazam Poof is about to finish plus one, so this timing for him is is very crucial. Yeah, we see a pretty nice concave here from Surreal, but um, he's really going to need to have to move that bottom part up a bit uh, if he wants to take a good engage. Yeah, no, you're right. He's, he's a little bit out of position if Shazam gets the move in here. Um, actually, that plus one carapace from before that he was using to support his lings is still in effect now. Um, this is a much stronger Roach army. Yeah, and um, yeah, we see plus two, pl uh, plus one versus just plus one of Surreal's. So this is going to be pretty tough, especially if all the Ravagers that Shazam has as yeah. well. Um, this concave from him is so nice. He pushed in at just the right time. Surreal's army not in position. And these drones are coming off the line, trying to fight versus this Roach Ravager, but Crystal Piles are raining down, and this looks like it's going to be a good game. Yep, there's the GG. Even the re responding good manners from Shazam as he takes uh, game one and game number two. Let's go ahead and uh, change the score over here. So interesting, um, if we take a look at uh, this next game, this next set, the wagon only has to take a map off of Shazam Poof. And he's in he's in the next round of eights. I'm not sure what we're going to see, but that is all he necessarily needs. Uh, he's just got to do better than Surreal just did. Oh, nice. So, I'm ready when you are. Cool. So black pink. This is a. I do like this map too. Um, a lot of good maps this season. Do we have any short? I haven't seen a single short distance rush map yet. Does it not exist on lot or is everybody just um, vetoing? Well, there's it? biogenesis is kind of like that. It's eh. not too too short, but it's like the closest thing we have. Yeah. 
Looks like they got away from that. I mean, I figured I'd rent it on the ladder eventually, but if there was one. Mm -hmm. uh, taking a look at Black Pink again, short. Uh, oh, let me get the. Yep. Short ramp here. Short uh, with ramp here to the natural. Big ramp to the bottom. And then another ramp up to the third or uh, over here. Well, depending on the third. But usually a, a ramp, another ramp up to the third. Open only from, from one angle by, by ground. Overall, a fun map. Uh, a lot of opportunities here for drops along this entire long side. Um, and one little reaper hop if you happen to be playing a Terran. So I do like that they've been putting these very limited reaper access points into the game lately. Uh, but we'll, we can talk about that in a moment after the first introductions. All right. Uh, I forget which we spawned in on because I've been looking around the map. Uh, spawning uh, in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, the green zerg. It is Shazam Poof. And up here in the top right, we have the pink. It is the wagon. The uh, wagon. Um, yeah, any anytime you um, anytime you wanted, uh, you don't know what it is. Just pick one. I'll I'll catch up hopefully. Yeah, when you were like explaining the map, I started looking around like just at random stuff. I'm like, <laughs> all right, where did we begin? There are definitely some cool features here. I like the color scheme. Uh -huh. um, I mean, if that matters to anybody watching. <laughs> um, sometimes there's cool features along the map. I don't know any here. Uh, there's a ramp that says exhaust. Um, some places, I think the Lich King was in a map uh, many, many months ago, um, hiding in a cave, maybe maybe many years ago. Um, many, many months is still many, many years. <laughs> um, Real men drill deep is a... There's a sign right here. Um, little billboard. So, I mean, sometimes you take a moment to look around. See some fun yeah. things. Kind of interesting. I always like seeing all the little Easter eggs and, like, this random stuff that map makers put in. It really makes the maps feel more alive. Like, they could, they could have just put, like, blank areas, you know, like... I always kind of hate when they just have, like random like trees and stuff I, I always like the city maps a lot more because they have much much more like character um, yeah yeah more character to them there was that one what was it called years ago it had like a uh, robots dissecting uh, ultralisks and hydralisks in the middle of it very short mm -hmm. map i always thought that was really cool um but we do have a couple links coming over here looks like they're gonna poke around um differences right now between these two are minimal there is a banelings nest a baneling nest um and that might may or may not be a thing uh these two lings actually going to get one one drone and that's very very cost efficient if i could get one drone for every two lings i created yeah i mean pretty much perfect <laughs> it looks like shazam was looking at going for a a baneling nest of his own. There he is. Okay, he, he went ahead and remade it in a different location. But three bases out of out of wagon now that he's put on a little pressure. I guess he feels safe. He's going to morph a couple uh, bane, bane links, maybe some defensive banes here. They do a lot of work. There we go. Third base going down for Shazam. Uh, defensive banes do a lot of work. Kind of just sitting at the top of that ramp to push back links. Right, a couple more offensive banelings this time. Uh, over here, looks like he's going to poke over here at the potential third. He is going to spot that third, and in response, he's going to poke at it. Uh, more lings flooding over here uh, to support this. There's banelings. He's just got to fall back just far enough to make those good Ooh. connections. Ah. That was really nice, actually. I'm not sure if you noticed, but Wagon pulled back one of the banelings so that only the one would detonate and kill all of them rather than two. And, you super know, cute oh, micro. Man. It's super cute. <laughs> I Ling Bane Micro is something I have to like. I gotta find one of those custom maps, one of those uh, mods, and just practice. Yeah, it's it's so hard. Like, it's just like you you have to always do everything perfect, or else like you just lose everything. And it's all gone, and game's over. It is so tough to constantly do like really like sick micro tricks and like. Just understanding how they like interact is so hard. They're also fast too, so it's like there's there's so so much depth to it. Well, I mean, I mean, not only are they fast, like the lings are fast. You could mm -hmm. accidentally run into all the banelings. Now this fight over here, like if you didn't see the banelings morph, oh. you know, oh good, so many banelings uh, coming up here. Uh, great connections, and 
I don't know if they can explode them all. If he splits them well here, he can get... Oh! Gets great management there. Trying to find the best connections. Uh, Banling's going up the ramp. Um, I, I can't even do much more than go, oh, snap, 11 drones. Yeah, oh, um, a little bit of miscontrol. There, actually. <laughs> um, Could have been better, but was still yeah. fantastic. He had two Banlings that were running into the drone line in the natural, or in the main, sorry, and he aimed with them. And so they started heading towards the queen rather than the drones. This is the reason people hate ZBZ. A little bit of miscontrol, it's all gone. This is why I, I ru personally, I rush roaches because I'm garbage at micro. Um, because I just want to pocket them somewhere nice and do the, you know, do that range damage. Yeah, ro roaches are a lot more comfortable to control. It's like, you know, you kind of like, you have time to gauge like, okay, do I have more? Like, is it better to fight now? Yeah. Even, but with uh, even wings, plus one, like... plus one carapace on them, um, actually gives him such a such a good fight here. So a lot of banelings, but those are a lot of roaches as well. And it looks like Shazam's uh, aggression here is not going to pay off, as he yeah. wasn't able to uh, get that lead early on when he first started fighting. Yep. And Wagon just been able to stay above him in the drone count and his economy is doing much better it should teeter out now if he continues to push this roaches are going to push it back nothing not too many things are more inefficient than banes on roaches like he's even going to suicide a few links into those morphing banes and close that out uh actually shazam committing really heavily to this link pressure um maybe he thinks he's got a he's running out of time uh and it, when you look at the eight drones being made by the wagon he's actually already 24 drones up uh well 24 after like six of those completed but he's 24 drones up um there is a clock there's a very big ticking clock and either shazam has to to to, to re-up on workers and, and hope and pray his opponent stays on the other side of the map or he's done for yeah i think um i think at this point shazam's probably lost um he just needs to kind of realize it <laughs> Because uh, Wagon's been up on workers' front for quite a while. Sure. Uh, and this is a significant roach count. You should see yeah. this. But, you know, he, he, maybe he felt like he got... He, he did get some really good connections. Um, maybe he doesn't know this third base has been here as long as it has. Let's take a quick look. Um, he doesn't. He does see it just now. He sees it's fully saturated for the first time. Losing six drones to a Baneling. Um, that's something. But it's still yeah. half, the, half the worker count. All right, so we do finally have some more drones on the way here for Shazam, but he's going to need to drone quite heavily if he wants to catch back up on the uh, worker count. Yeah, and but he's also got to make sure he's keeping enough pressure on this side of the map so his opponent doesn't feel confident enough to move. Because the only thing I can imagine is going through Wagon's head is he thinks he's holding on. Yeah. If he goes, if Shazam goes home and just drones up and tacks up right now, he might might be. Causing his own demise. Looks like he's going to poke around here, make sure there's no extra bases he's not tracking. Maybe wait for a push out uh, and counter attack. Or we're going to see some Ling drops. Ooh, nice. On a slow, slow fat overlord. <laughs> uh, but he, yeah, this little, he's going to give away his army right here. They're going to maybe distract themselves a little bit, pull him all the way to the far side of the third. I mean, if Shazam is going to come back, he's going to need to drone pretty heavily, but he also needs to kill some drones and wagons. And it looks like these are going to be mainly just actually, too. Uh, wagon actually seeing that he's got nothing at home. Um, it's going to push across the other side of the map. Uh, Shazam making roaches now, roach burrow, uh, starting roach speed uh, in response to this. Coming in actually now on two fronts. Link's going into the third. And Baneling's moving over here to the main, kind of sp even splitting up between the natural. Seven drones there is a massive count. On the other side of the map, uh, Ling's doing a lot of damage over here on Shazam's third. Um, Ling's dying all in every place. I can't keep up fast enough. Uh, Twelve Ling's, nine Ling's, ten Ling's. Shazam losing a significant number of workers. He's actually going to lose his third as the army splits up. Uh, and there's just so much here for the wagon. Uh, Shazam's four split to push and aggress on the other side. Uh, this is going downhill fast for everybody's favorite Zerg. Yeah, uh, GG is called GG. a wagon taking game number one. So, uh, really, right there, um, 
looks like wagon and Shazam Poof are are moving on. That's all that took. Yeah. We are uh, we're gonna go to the other games. Yeah. The the what one? This will be the last. It should be the last one. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> um, we, we all knew this was going to happen. <laughs> game number two, The Wagon versus Shazam Poof. Anybody's game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Absolutely anybody's game. Group C, um, Shazam Poof and Wagon, however, moving on uh, to the round of eight out of this group. Oh, we should make sure to post up camera after this because he's casting the finals for um, that uh, whatever league you guys are in. Um, the, the football oh, one. Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah, we'll go yeah. do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take a quick look at this map. Um, taking a look at Wagon. I'm over here to your... Oh, again, Catalyst, small ramp, big opening. Uh, third base, usually on the top. Fourth base, either far corner forward towards your enemy or kind of trying to tuck it into this avenue that's really open um good base a uh, good map a little bit of a, a reaper jump here uh, and multiple avenues of attack as they you can move right through the center the left right or even the extreme left to right just kind of lots of places once this map begins to expand and people begin to take bases um really you can push and aggress um but siegfried take it away all right so we have a pier spawning in the top left, going for that early pool. It is Wagon. All right, and his opponent. Uh, everybody loves him. He's the man. It is Tom. All ins Shazam Poof. All right. No buy saw. Um, but Wagon is cutting it real heavy, right? Wait, nope. Let me take a look around. He, he's a very early spawning pool. Gasless, it looks like. Um, at this time, and there it goes down the natural. Yeah, I think this is a fourteen pool. Yeah, because he was getting those six legs. I I never like remember when the pool went down or like what the players are using it for. We're all we're all definitely talking over it and. Uh, yeah, we're none of us are experts here. We're just <laughs> we just play this game. We just play this game and we enjoy it. Uh, but it, you know what's next, right? So there's six slings. Is it eight links? It's drones. It is drones. So Wagon is not uh, committing to anything fast. He's committing to, I want to say, maybe this hatchery. Maybe getting Shazam Poof to overcommit to some to some workers. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, if you make Shazam make, you know, eight to ten links for these six links, like, I think that's a win. Maybe he gets this hatchery down pretty low, and, or maybe he kills it. But, uh, you know, there's a, a lot he can do here. He can even get a couple drones. And Shazam thinks this is like an all-in move, so he is pulling oh, all his drones. Oh man! Uh, but I mean, is... back at home, he does. He doesn't have anything. He has four lings. You're right. Yeah, no, he pulls a lot to respond to this. Yeah, and I think this is exactly what uh, Wagon hopes for. Ah oh, man! Just, I mean, just a little bit of lost mining time. Um, it's not the end of the world. He's just got to now saturate his main like it's his natural. Um. I mean, maybe a bit of an over-response, but what was going to pop out? Like, a queen was going to be there with six lings on it. It would have been surrounded. He would have lost the queen. So maybe that was the trade, right? So you pull over 18, 18 workers, you save a queen. Yeah, and, like, you know, Shazam, he doesn't know what the, the follow-up is. Like, for all he knows, there could have been 12 more lings following that. And right. if he lets the queen die, then suddenly everything dies. But, you know, he... He took that gamble, and uh, unfortunately, it didn't pay off. Uh, well, it looks like um, an evolution chamber, a three evolution chambers, a queen wall, and a spine crawler are the response to kind of this return pressure here. Um, but I can't imagine Shazam doing anything more than looking at that and running away. Uh, interesting choice, though. Three, three evolution chambers over over like a roach warren. Um, any opinions on that? Uh, yes, three evolution chambers. Oh, yes. Uh, I think it's just because of how cheap it is um, and how quickly it builds. Okay. I think he just wants it up as quick as he can. I guess there are three... No. Yeah, three upgrades. <laughs> like he's go yeah, I think he's going for uh, an Ultra Nidus build. 
we do have a, a lurker's dead oh, infestation pit, excuse me already yeah. on the way um that's something yeah I, I definitely feel like he's going for an ultra knight as build here especially with the amount of queens he has um or he might be going for something else i'm not i'm not quite sure yet uh, i think he wants more gas with this if he is going for that he is going to spot yeah. this drop that is an awkward place to morph an overlord yeah if he does anything about it um it's hard to pull things away two more queens on the way though you're right there are so many queens here i would not be surprised if i saw the night swarm go down he actually yeah. his evolution chamber <laughs> Ooh, all the queens survive and b build the wall again if the transfusers are on point it looks like they're pretty good link's coming in here to the main um trying to do some damage getting a couple drones here is uh four drones uh, the queen's going to fight off a lot of this drones being pulled to aid the fight. So many queens, eight, uh, seven drones, and I'm looking for oh, oh, map control. Looking for the nidus swarm. Now the pressure's off. This would be the time to do it. Um, no, that's yeah. Good. I don't see that nidus network quite yet, but um, I don't. He hasn't made his next move yet. He hasn't built his next. Okay, there's the hive. So there I think is, this yep. definitely will be ultra nidus. So this many evolution like chambers and no upgrades. Build. I feel like you at least get like plus one out of this, right? You... <laughs> <laughs> um, but he is turtling up really heavy, and Shazam's got to be—he's got to be feeling okay. But he sees this hive. Uh, I think he knows he's on a timer. Yeah, I mean, like you never feel okay when you're playing versus wagon. Like playing versus him just makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> he's just so good uh, and does things so wildly different um another like, another overlord he really is feel so many queens though yeah i don't think there's any way he gets into that base he has links coming out here now he um, sees hive tech coming he's got a he, he's i don't know i don't know what he's thinking right now i'd love to see oh yeah he's just gonna wall it like if, if something tells you if nothing tells you, Knight is like a full wall. Yeah. Like, um, three spine crawlers, uh, seven evolution chambers. Start making queens. Start making um, spine crawlers. Spore crawler up all your walls. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Um, but Ling's on your on on your opponent's side of the map seem like an interesting way to go. Oh, okay, okay. I guess you drop three dropper lords. Um, does do they have speed? There's the the Knight is where I'm starting. The Ultraless cavern. Why not? Um, Spore crawlers being moved onto the main base. Um, oh god, so many dropper lords! <laughs> it's getting real, um, real fun. As they all have speed, they're all gonna march into here. Okay, can can this uh, fuck it, this doom drop here stop the ultra nidus? We'll have to find out. There's there's some spine crawlers by this hive. I think as soon as you get one ultra list down, you're. You, you, it's over, right? Yeah, I think even without the armor upgrade, one Ultralisk will just kill Infinity Zerglings. And we have three Ultralisks, so... Um, Transfuse is actually really good here. So Such good control here from the wagon. It's gross. Um, three Ultralisk. Oh, the build time is so... Like, get that egg. Go get that cocoon. <laughs> um, but no, just not enough links. Not enough links here. The wall is disgusting. This whole thing is disgusting. I... <laughs> this is not how this game was meant to be played. <laughs> <laughs> a wall of evolution chambers. Also, as soon as ultras pop out, I, would, I just want to see GG the moment they come out. Um, oh, he's even started armor. There's oh, one. There's, there's, there's the three. First one. <laughs> 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 and that's it, it, just so comical. Like, <laughs> is he going to continue to load him? No, he's going to Nidus Worm this. He's got the Nidus Worm coming over in the main. Um, you know, just keep one ultra there for defense. There we go. Yeah. Defense ultra. Shazam's not even trying to to send this across to the other side to defend. Um, there's the worm. There's three ultra. This is a three ultra, eight minute, nine minute ultra rush. <laughs> um, there's not even anything on that base. He's made no drone since that first push. Uh, Ling's that's not Ling's. Yeah, Ling's being dropped over here, trying to get um, as much damage as he can. Uh, as much damage as they can, but there's an ultra at home. Yeah, there's there's no way in hell <laughs> that these things <laughs> ever kill that ultra. Tier one versus tier three. <laughs> but 
Well, okay, no armor. It's it's taking some. It's in the yellow, and there's the G. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> game. That was a game. Oh. Uh, let's go ahead and fix the score. And, folks, that's um, that's a 2 0 for Shazam Proof on Surreal, an uh, 0 2 uh, versus Wagon for Shazam Proof. It doesn't get uh, much clear cut than that. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you, Siegfried, for making that a lot less awkward. <laughs> no worries. Um, if you're on YouTube, you know, all that fun stuff, like, subscribe, comment below, tell me I'm a piece of garbage, and uh, get good scrub, whatever it is, I just start the conversation. Um, for all those folks in All In, hey, you guys have been fantastic. For Boo, thanks for the, for the follow, and what I'm going to do right after I kill this video is we're going to go watch um, Camroll in the playoffs for uh, Blood Bowl. So, thanks for hanging out, folks.